Hey everybody, welcome back to another week of the Fogo Life. I'm your host as always, Captain Ron. Guess what folks? Today, we have a super special guest. Let me show you. I'm Tina Cannon here from Atlanta, Georgia to show y'all how to cook my mom's favorite ribs. Tina is gonna show us her super special recipe. Now, a little while ago, we did a cool video on party ribs. They're yes. baby backs, they're cut up individually, um, smoked, slow smoked, like, you know, same way you would cook ribs, right. almost like burnt ends we did them. I saw that you did on Instagram a completely different version right. and we just had to see this. Now, you said something really kind of cool. I want to know a little bit more about this. You said this is your mom's favorite way that you make ribs? It's favorite way. She will, if she knows I'm making this, uh -huh. she shows up. Is that right? Yeah, they're very different because you, they're a lot less time, which sure. is great for when she drops by. Yep. But the method is direct heat on the grill. But okay. the key is marinate them for a few hours if you have time ah. or overnight okay. or a lot of times before work. Right. You marinate them, come back, they're ready to hit. So the does the marinade kind of help tenderize them? Yep, it's tenderize and really infuses a lot of flavor into it. Excellent. And I imagine too that since we're going direct, it maybe keeps them a little more moister too. Is that is that right? Uh, you know, it's a different texture in competition ribs. Right. You know, you want them to you know almost you know fall off the bone, right. be a real. A bite through, a bite almost through. fall off the bone. Yes. Yeah. But with this one, it's going to have a little more tug, but okay. you're going to have that great char flavor. Awesome. I love that charred flavor. When Me I lived too. up in North Florida, there was a place up there that they made them, Woody's, and they made them, and they had this char on them. I, I couldn't get enough of them. They yeah. wouldn't tell me how they did it. So I'm excited. So let's go ahead and delve right in and get started, shall we? All right. So our first thing I do is flip the ribs over. Okay. And I like to trim up any loose edges, like for instance, this one, because I want perfect little ribs. Yeah. Well, I don't, so let me ask you this. Now, I know when I'm smoking ribs, and forgive me, I don't know your method, but so I know like for me, I cut this end off here because yeah. it's so thin. It just winds up getting burned and, and yeah. dried out anyway. So I cut that off yep. generally before. So you do the same thing for this. I'm going to okay. trim that up. And sometimes I might throw that on for Cook's treat. Yeah. I like that too. Yeah. Yep. Okay, good. I'm just going to set it over here for right now. Yeah, okay. Sure. So then I uh, turn it this way so because you can see the ribs. You can right. see the cut. If you tried to do it from this side, you know, you might hit a bone. I sure. want these to be perfect because, you know, these are for my mama. Uh, right? Hey, listen, we don't want to make mama mad. No, I, I know don't. mama. We don't want to make mama mad. No. All right. So I go actually right in between each rib, leaving meat on each side. That's cool. And, you know, mm -hmm. you can even see the end. Right. You can see each bone in the end. So mm -hmm. it really gives you a good pattern. There are even different colors where the fat is. Makes, where it, kind of, makes right, it a cool. lot easier. Yep. So this one little scraggler I may take off right here on the end, and we'll cook that for us for well, a taste test. I'll set the scraggler over with the other Yeah, piece. yeah. So right in between each rib, you'll see I'm going to go in between the meat to try to get meat on both sides because we okay. don't want mama eating off one side, right? Yep. Is that what you like to use for that? Is like a fillet boning knife for yeah, that? All yeah, right. actually the easiest one. And I love the curvature of this because yeah. it actually makes it a much smoother cut for me. So, you know, a lot of this stuff we don't pre-discuss before we're making this video. So it's, it's kind of interesting because yeah. we do so much things the same. So, and those are some meaty ribs. Yes, they are. These th these are these are swift baby back ribs. They're oh, okay. also known as loin back ribs. Okay. So now that I've got these about cut, will you hold a bag open for me and okay. we will just fill it out. So a gallon zip type bag will hold a rack of ribs. So we're just going to put these inside there and then we're going to pour our marinade in. Okay. So you see how I've got them cut all individual. Look how meaty Look that is. how thick that baby yeah. back rib is. Mm -hmm. That is that is the thickest baby back rib I think I've ever seen. That's there is, true. That's like a pork chop right yeah, there. Yeah, it is. And it's going to taste like a grilled uh, pork chop. It tastes good exactly. by a little pork chop. Exactly. But you see on the other end, they're a little bit thinner. So this sure. cooking method, you'll see why we keep turning them. Okay. Keep turning them. Because you obviously will turn these quicker. So it's sort of a keep flipping method, basically. Yeah. All right, we've got all the ribs in the bag, so okay. let's make the marinade. All right, excellent, excellent, excellent. Should we mix it up in here? How's that yeah. sound? Okay, yeah. cool. So I know we got to use rub, right? Yep. We're going to use notorious PIG rub here. So we say a quarter of a cup. Quarter of a cup. All right. And that is per rack of rib. Quarter of a cup. Ah, see, that's an important piece of information yeah, right there, all right? A quarter cup. There we go. And then we want a cup of apple juice. I wish we had some apple juice. <gasps> Look at that. How what a miracle. All right. right there. Awesome. So one cup. I'm going to eyeball it. Sorry. Okay. That's about a cup. Now I'm going to freak people out and stir it with this. We should get some good comments on that. All right. We're all mixed up. What else do we have to do? Simply pour it in the bag. Just pour it in. That's Just it. Just pour it in. That's it. Oh, that's easy enough. I know. Even I could do that. Yeah, even you. Zip your bag and we're going to pop these in the refrigerator either overnight or at least four hours. Okay, so where do you have to take those two now? To the refrigerator! Yeah, Tina got it! All right, Miss Tina, so while you were inside putting the other ribs in the refrigerator, 
I showed him that we already um, pre-marinated them last night. Um, Tina had the great idea. She's like, do you want to save some time? Let's pre-marinate these. So we right. set these in the fridge last night, so we're good to go. So what's our next step here now? I want you to light my fire. Hey now! <laughs> Come on, baby, light my fire. All right, so um, we have an empty charcoal basket here. Yeah. Um, since we're going to be grilling, we decided that we would use our Fogo Black Bag. Okay, it's kind of our grilling charcoal, shorter smokes. Mm -hmm. So I think this is going to be perfect. Now, do I want to do, you know, we covered that normally we fill it up to the bottom of the fire bowl here. Where, where do you want me to fill with, this up with to? With this one, I would put only a few inches in because we're just going to char grill and keep it direct cooked. Okay, so maybe like to the top of the kick ass yes, basket or something. Right to like the that. top of the basket, and that would be plenty. All right, cool. Let me go ahead and do that then. Today I didn't use the blazer ball, I used the fire starters. So I wanted the, only the top layer burning quickly, so I put five of the starters in and lit them all. So the top layer will burn quicker. All right, Miss Tina, so I got this thing leveled out about 500 degrees. Does that sound about right? Yeah. So we kind of want to go medium high heat, medium right? High. Now, here's the thing, okay, we're going to burp it. Burp. Okay, because we don't want to burn our arm hair off, right? Right. Now, we talked about this. Tell us about the setup that you like to use here. So I use the expander with the grate on the very top. Right. Even though I am cooking direct right. with heat, okay. I don't want it right down on it because remember our rub that's in here has some sugar in it. Yeah. And then when we start softening them, it also has sugar. So you don't want to burn it. I was kind of thinking too, is that the other part of that too, is that, you know, I know that ribs have to be cooked to a little bit higher temperature so that the collagens inside will break down and right. make them tender. I know we're not going to get fall off the bone tender, but I think by doing this, so this is what I would kind of consider to be raised direct, right? Yes, raised direct. Okay, awesome. So, show us what's next. So, I'm ready to put all these ribs on. Okay. So I'm just going to fill the grill quickly. Fill the grill. Fill the grill. We filled the grill with fogo, now we're mm. filling the grill with ribs. So, there's a little tip I didn't tell you. Okay. I put them all in the same direction because baby back ribs are curved. Right. So, I put them in the same direction okay. because I might get distracted with someone talking to me or something. Mm -hmm. What? And that way I know where I left off turning. That's because smart. Because this recipe is, you know, a, you keep turning it. Right. We're going to leave it this way for a few minutes and then we're going to turn them. And that way I know where I began and right. where I ended. So, you kind of mentioned that before. We're going to kind of JK. It. We do, we, we made steaks like this. We kind of use just prowls. I called it just keep flipping. So, right. in a way, that's sort of a kind of take on yeah. this for ribs. I'm really excited about this because I've never had ribs done like this. I've had ribs that were like um, cooked low and slow and then put back on the grill, but I've never had them cooked direct like yeah. this. I mean, it kind of makes sense to me as long as you bring them to the right temperature, it should break down the columns, yeah. make them a pretty tender bite. I know, I reiterated probably the fourth time you already told me we're not going to get fall off the bone ribs. Yeah, this is a I whole don't, different thing. I don't like fall off the bone ribs. I like there to be a little tug. I want there to be a little bit of texture to it, you know? So this is, I think this is going to be something I'm really going to enjoy. So the, the whole time we're just going to, I leave the lid open okay. and we just basically wait until we start to see it change color on the bottom. Okay. That means it's starting to cook, then it's time to flip. Excellent. Now, one thing we did talk about right before we came back on is that um, once that we have it like this, we, since we're leaving it open, we kind of shut the bottom vent. We had that bottom vent open in order to get some airflow to get the fire going good. But once it's open like this and we're cooking, we're going to shut that bottom vent because it's going to keep for a nice, even temperature. Right, right, exactly. Now we're cooking. Awesome. Now we're cooking. <laughs> I love her. So we're again, we're cooking these totally open. We don't close the lid to the grill. So let's calibrate our tongs and now we're going to start turning them. The key is to keep turning them over and over until you get a nice char on all the sides. I like to add a layer of flavor and also keep my heat down by spritzing with some apple juice. Ron! What? Get what? over here! Oh. Prep tub time? Yes, it's time oh for the God. next step. I guess I missed that whole thing, huh? Almost. All right. Almost. <laughs> so you need that, you said, yeah. right? All right. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Do they look awesome? Yes, oh. they do. Don't they I smell know, good? I know that that char is, oh my God. The char is the star, baby. Char is the star. So what we're going to do is take these off now okay. and we're going to coat them with sauce. And while you were sleeping on the job, I mean sleeping, um, I was spritzing with apple juice to keep a nice, you know, even heat on them. Oh, really? It kind of keeps it from flaming up too much. 
but it adds a layer of flavor. Everything that you do adds a layer of flavor. Awesome. So awesome. look how pretty awesome. these look. They smell phenomenal. Oh my God, they are gorgeous. Mm -hmm. they, you know, I love to char around the edge. That's, oh man, I, I know that's gonna be good. And that's what mama likes right there. She does. Mama's a so. smart woman, you know she that? She sure is. So these are the ones that were a little bit larger. Okay. So I'm taking those off last. All right. Because, you know, they, one end is larger than the other. So that's a good point, folks. When you're cooking things like this, you're gonna have food that's different sizes. Guess what? Different sizes done at different times. Right. The larger the cut, a little bit longer it's gonna take. So just seems basic to some of us, but some people may not know that. So we are good to go. Gorgeous. Perfect. So we're gonna sauce them now? Yep, you're just gonna sauce them up. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm gonna use my favorite sauce, all right? This is my buddy's sauce. It's, okay. it's called Old Town from Fire and Smoke. It's, it is awesome. I haven't had these, this sauce yet, so I'm anxious to try it. All right, now, I was gonna do this, but Tina gave me permission, because I haven't yeah. done anything here. So she's gonna sauce them. I'm gonna show you how to do this, all right? Yeah. So I'm just gonna drizzle a little sauce over each one, and then you are gonna toss them. Like in the garbage? No. Oh, okay. You're hilarious. I are hilarious. All right. Oh my God, this sauce smells really good. Wait till you taste it. It's so good. So you don't thin out the sauce for everything like that. You just give it a nice awesome. coating. Mm -hmm. This works really good for this. Yeah, this, this prep tub, it, it's good for so much stuff. Yeah. All right, awesome. So I think we're ready to go back on. So ready. do I need to put them back on in the same shape again? Like you do? I, I usually do. Okay. I think that's just so this, this is going to be a pretty quick thing here, yes. right, I'd imagine? By the time you almost get them all on, you're going to be flipping them, that's and then they're right. done. Yep, that's kind of what I figured. So that's kind of why I do it in the you're just same direction. At, you're just looking to caramelize the sauce exactly. is really what we're looking to do here. Okay, that makes sense. And it's, oh my God, that sauce sells so good cooking on there already. Mm. Now, this was already cooked in here. Can we just take them off yes. and put them right back in you here? You can, because they're cooked ribs. Awesome. Now, if you're a temperature person, yes. you can check the temp. You want to make sure they're at least 165. Okay. But I usually go by color, and I've made this recipe so many times that I kind of know how long that it takes. But safety, 165. So she knows how to do it for safety, 165. Guys, if you want to temp them and you want to go a little bit longer, you want a more tender rib, Keep flipping them. Just keep flipping them before you sauce them. The higher the temperature, kind of the more um, softer and tender bite you're going to get. So, um, but good Lord, I can't imagine doing them any different than this. That looks amazing. You got a little more right there. Right? I got sauce. You do? I like it. It looks good on you, though. All right, so you can flip these? Yeah, just you, you flip them with your hands, even. With my hand? So just give them a quick flip. Oh, yeah. That, wow, no, that's too, way too hot. Way too hot. Grab them tongs. You do it. Okay. You do it, pearly girl. Is this where you left off? I'm taking these gloves off. Okay. So we're literally just gonna leave it a minute on this side. Once I get them turned, I'll, then I'll start taking them off. You might wanna right. grab a roll of paper towels because they, even though they're messy, they are delicious. No doubt. Well, I'm gonna let you know this right now. We've got a crowd waiting to taste these things. Oh, really? So yeah, really. They smell and look unbelievable. I'm gonna kind of shut this down. We're done cooking, right? We are done. All right, so the bottom vents are already closed, right? Yep, bottom vents are already closed. We're gonna close this. Look how easy this closed now. Yeah. So I, just, I, I have to show them just exactly how beautiful these things look. I mean, they look amazing. Yeah, that's a nice one, right? Here's they're all nice. They're all nice, they're beautiful. But if you look at this, see, you got a light, slight char. It's not, the whole thing isn't black. It's just that caramelization going on. The sauce is really nice and sticky now. Mm -hmm. Mm, tasty too. But Tina, I'm, I'm uber impressed here because I could tell by grabbing it with the tongs, they're nice and soft and yes. nice and tender. Um, the, the char is the star. That's right. Okay. That um, it does. Wait a second. What? Yeah. Okay. Um, so it's got kind of a nice crust on it. I like it. Yeah. Well, the crust is a must. 100%. I can do this all day long yeah. if you want to. All right. But yeah, guys, look at that. That's amazing. All right. These look awesome, Tina. So I was going to, usually we do our little taste test right here. We got a whole crowd over there. So let's go. Let's head all over right. and see what they all think. I'm ready to pay for towels. We're going to need them. I think that's a good idea. All right, now we want to try something different here. So we took direct party ribs. So we took the ribs directly from the grill, directly to the party. Pate. So um, we got Norman Dawn here from Trompo King. You can find them on all social medias under Trompo underscore King, right? That's right. Yep. And you all know Tina County Cooks, my beautiful girl, Linny Lynn. She's all over social media as well. And you know where to find me, Captain Ron 302. So I think that it's time that we try these parties. Have you guys ever had direct grilled wings like this? Uh, ribs like this before? No. This is no. a treat. The smell is it's so incredible. Good. It is, right? So when I saw Tina do these on Instagram last week, I knew I had to do it, right? Tell us real quickly again how you came up with this, please. Just a quick... I wanted to be 
quick. Yeah. And I love char, and my mom likes char. So several years ago when I started cooking this way, and when mama likes it, that's what I do. Most hey, time. mama likes it. We're all good. That's right. Then we can get some paper towels. I know we're going to need those. Yes, we Then everybody are. grab in. Reach in and grab one. We'll all bite at the same time. We'll all see if we have a similar reaction. How does that Woo. sound? All right, guys, who's ready? I'm ready. ready. All right. I'm born ready. Let's I'm have ready. at it, baby. Here we it. go. Oh. Oh. Wow. Mm. These are the most delicious. Wow. Oh, my God. There you go. That's called a powerful pack and punch wow. bite. Mm. So, you know, it's kind of funny. So I got one of the, the baby backs that has a real lot of meat on it. Mm -hmm. I, if I'm going to be perfectly frank, it tastes almost like a pork chop, like a nice fatty pork chop to me. Mm -hmm. That's what it tastes like to me. Mm -hmm. I'm, I don't know if you can see this, but it's actually raised up and I got goosebumps. I mean, Tina. This is really good. This is really good. Thank you. This isn't a I'm, 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 I'm trying I'm not, speechless. Yeah, right? I know. <laughs> I'm, I'm, Why? So I expected them. <laughs> I know. But um, I expected them to be really good. Okay, mm. I mean, I, I, Tina made them. Tina doesn't make bad food, you know. This is really. But good. I'm, I'm even pretty amazed. Mm. Mm. Mama's only, always right. There's only one yep. thing missing from this meal. Mm -hmm. No biscuits. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. Just no saying. doubt. Oh my goodness. So they are a tougher bite than what mm. than what a, a low and slow mm -hmm. traditional like, rib bite is. Like yeah. Like the bite mm -hmm. of a pork chop. Yeah. But look, I mean, that's the bite you're looking for in a competition rib. That's the bite but you're looking for. This is what for. I like. That's oh man. I like it. I'll tell you this what. I'll take them like this all day long. Tina. This is really good. Thank you. Really. You nailed oh. it. This is great, kid. You have Love nailed it. it. Mama knows what she's doing. <laughs> Tina Cannon, everybody. Woo! Tina Cannon. Woo -hoo! Yeah. Woo -hoo! Right. You're looking good. Yummy. Lynn's too busy munching over here. <laughs> hey, listen, folks. You know, if you like what you saw here, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button and join us. All right, join the Fogo family. Also, leave us a comment down below. All right, tell us, have you ever made ribs like this? Have you ever had them? What's your favorite way of perfor performing? Of performing. <laughs> of making ribs. Of preparing. She, I told, you're right. It's got me speechless. That's <laughs> so good. Imagine that. You know, it's unbelievable. <laughs> Listen, give everybody here a follow on socials, all right? Hit us up anytime. We'd love to hear from you. Tina, thank you. Thank you, Tina. Like, thank like, you. I'm like, glad to share it with you. I was going to say from the bottom of my heart, but from the bottom of my belly, <laughs> thank you, because these are so good. So uh, I can't wait to cook with you some more. Um, we're going to have some videos coming up with Trompo King. And um, that's about everything we got. So, folks, I want you to remember to get out and grill, and we'll see you the next time on The Fogo Life. Captain Ron and everybody else, out.